How does a company go from being one of the biggest players in the aerospace industry to going completely bankrupt? United Launch Alliance, once a major force in government space launches, is facing countless challenges. And as rumors continue to swirl about its potential sale, there have been some speculations that its biggest rival SpaceX may attempt to buy it out. To understand how this happened, let's take a look at the events that have contributed to United Launch Alliance's troubling situation. Some of you may remember that in early 2024, ULA announced the inaugural launch of their new Vulcan rocket, the Vulcan Centaur. And on January 8, 2024, the Vulcan Centaur made its first flight, marking a major milestone for the company. Of course, this launch was very significant since it represented ULA's next-generation launch vehicle, designed to eventually replace their Atlas V and Delta IV rockets. However, that's not all. This launch was a major milestone not only for ULA, but also for NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Services program, as it was intended to be the first commercial attempt to soft land on the moon. With the successful launch of the Vulcan rocket after years of delay and its major accomplishments earlier this year, we all thought that the rumors of an impending ULA sale would die down. However, recent events have reignited these speculations. This is because most of their recent missions have experienced setbacks since then. Things recently came to a head when the U.S. Space Force issued a statement holding ULA accountable for delays and requesting that they pay a fine. However, the U.S. Space Force would also reveal that this fine was due to two postponed national security space launch missions, a navigation satellite launch originally scheduled for January, which was delayed to October. And the GPS-3 satellite launch, which ULA also moved from June 2024 to sometime in 2025, a long delay of over 18 months. In addition to these issues, ULA has also faced allegations for the delay in adopting innovations like rocket reusability, which has impacted its ability to compete with aerospace companies. In light of these recent developments and allegations, which we will touch on later in the video, there has been speculation that the company may soon change hands. This was further fueled by reports that Boeing and Lockheed Martin, the companies that currently own ULA, were actively exploring a sale, with talks with potential buyers expected to begin soon. Surprisingly, many companies lined up to partake in this buyout, with SpaceX and Blue Origin among them. There were also speculations that Cerberus, a private company with a solid management system and a focus on government and national security tasks, and Textron, a defense contractor in the same market as ULA, were potential buyers. But while these companies are rumored to be interested in buying ULA, the most intriguing speculation at the time was centered on SpaceX. To understand why this potential buyout is so significant, we need to examine the history between these two rivals. It's no secret that one of ULA's most significant challenges has been the rise of SpaceX. Indeed, in recent years, SpaceX's lower-cost launches and innovative technology have put pressure on ULA, which historically held a dominant position in U.S. government launches. In 2020, ULA and SpaceX were awarded the National Security Space Launch Phase II contract by the U.S. Space Force, a deal worth a substantial $3.5 billion. But let's take a look at the strides both companies have made since then. ULA has faced setbacks, with delays in Vulcan's development forcing them to transfer the USSF-51 mission to their Atlas V rocket. Moreover, they have yet to launch USSF-106. In stark contrast, SpaceX has been moving very fast. SpaceX launched the 50 Falcon 9 mission, including the USSF-124 and 62 missions, on the 14th of February and the 11th of April. Meanwhile, in the second half of the year, SpaceX plans to accelerate even further to hit the milestone of 148 missions. SpaceX already holds a dominant position in the aerospace industry, with an impressive lineup of vehicles such as Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Dragon. Still, if SpaceX were to acquire ULA, it could offer specific advantages, such as beating out major competitor Blue Origin, boosting its role in national security and defense launches, and gaining access to ULA's extensive experience with government contracts and valuable intellectual property. 
But while it has its positive side, it also comes with a number of challenges. Integrating two very different corporate cultures and potentially dealing with antitrust concerns could be a huge challenge for SpaceX, especially since SpaceX seems to be focused on Starship. SpaceX already has top-notch resources and capabilities. Shifting their focus and resources to incorporate ULA systems could become a distraction and might end up driving up their costs. Also, there are speculations that ULA wants to sell for $4 billion, but due to a drop in shares over the years, it is currently valued at $2.5 billion. With this in mind, it doesn't look like SpaceX would be willing to meet ULA's asking price. This financial consideration, combined with SpaceX's recent priorities, makes the acquisition less likely. While the idea of SpaceX acquiring ULA might sound exciting and could be a game-changer in the aerospace industry, it seems SpaceX is more likely to focus on enhancing its existing rocket technologies and expanding its Starship program. While SpaceX's potential acquisition of ULA has captured a lot of attention, it's clear that the deal might face significant hurdles. Given the challenges mentioned above, let's turn our attention to Blue Origin, Cerberus, and Textron. Currently, Blue Origin seems to be a front-runner, with both companies having a history that dates back to 2014, when ULA made the strategic decision to reduce its reliance on foreign technology. At the time, ULA used the Russian-made RD-180 engine in its Atlas V rocket, but made the decision to switch to Blue Origin's BE-4. It sounded quite reasonable at the time, but since then, the partnership has encountered multiple delays, which have in turn affected ULA's launch schedule for the Vulcan rocket. This is due to Blue Origin's BE-4 engines being notorious for slow production. If Blue Origin acquires ULA, it would create a formidable competitor to SpaceX in the commercial and government launch markets. However, there's still a possibility that Boeing and Lockheed Martin could decide to retain ownership of ULA if they don't find a suitable buyer or if market conditions change. ULA's sale has been in its final stages since the beginning of the year, but so far, there has been no formal announcement. And while SpaceX seems to have lost interest and is focused on Starship and its recent massive contract from NASA, there's no telling if there might be an interest sometime in the future. As we've seen, the future of ULA holds important implications for the aerospace industry. While we anticipate further progress, it's clear that ULA's challenges highlight how crucial innovation and forward thinking are in the aerospace industry. As ULA's troubles continue and the search for a buyer intensifies, no one knows who the next buyer will be. Whether Musk's SpaceX will make a move for its longtime rival remains to be seen, but such a development would undoubtedly reshape the landscape of the space industry.